Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Super Auto Pets. Um, today, I'm going to be playing the weekly, because there's a ton of interesting, like, scaling and snipey looking things in here. I'm hoping to get some good runs, but we'll see. I haven't played it yet, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Uh, possum, I like the stat line. Ant works with that as well. And you have an extra HP now, nice. Okay, buy pig, freeze duck. And send that. It'll be the nefarious mushrooms. Solid name. That's a win, nice. Already won trophy and don't need don't need to worry about the next um rounds. And I like all of this. Also, we unlocked this <laughs> snail lady mascot at the end of the last video and uh have it selected. It's cute. I do want more though. Oh god, I don't know whether it's worth freezing <laughs> these pigs for the level. I think it's not. I'll do it for the duck, but I think we leave those dudes. And I'm going to change it into that order. But yeah, I like the mascots. I really want to get the... What, the raccoon one? I had a little browse through and I think that's my favorite. <laughs> they need a snake one, though. Okay. Hatching chicken, dodo. Not the biggest fan of either of these. I know Dodo can be pretty good for um, some of the late game stuff, because there's a lot of things that benefit from high attack. Left and Lionfish. I'm not sure how I'd scale the Dodo, though. But I think I'm going Hatching Chick for now. And don't think it's worth selling the duck yet, so I won't. I will sell Pig and grab the Hedgehog. Ooh. Okay, if I was going to sell Possum, I should have done it just then. But, hey, not punished. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to put everything on the duck, I think. Yeah, let's do it that way. 7, 8 at the front. That's got to be a good turn 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not expecting to get many wins with um double backline hedgehog, but I don't mind draws. Oh, my God, they're everywhere. Uh, stack one on each, and then I can combine those next turn. Not buying another duck, because I just do not care. Lima could have been cool. But I'm not selling anything this turn to make it happen, so I may just... My options are either roll for the ant, or more hedgehogs, or just buy the apple. I don't think there's anything else I'm looking for here. Bat could be cool. But, yeah, we'll just throw one of those down. Make that larger. Hopefully we can find an early turtle or something, pull that on. Or garlic, actually. I didn't see if that's a, a regular piece of equipment you can buy, or if that's only from the lima. Alright, draw. Not bad, baboon. If I have a good tier 3, then it could be nice. Let's see what we get here, though. Yeah, turtle. Okay, I may throw that on. Yeah, garlic. Oh, but garlic may actually be better, and we can scale with dragonfly. I think that may be the play instead. I'm thinking maybe sell duck, buy both of these, and then we'll be scaling the hatching chick a bit. And I can always just garlic up the hedgehog. It's going to be a weird team, and I may be a, a slot short, but... I think we'll be fine. So, have a big buff there. And put that on you and throw it at the front? Or is that a terrible idea? Because it's going to like kill my whole team. I think I'd definitely throw that on there. But I think I'm going to leave it at the back for now. Yeah. Okay. I can like shuffle this to the back or something next time, maybe. Yeah, no worries. Nothing's getting through this. Garlic hard carrying. Bats. Would have been nice, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that now. Fried shrimp. We are low attack, but I don't want to buy stats like that. Like lettuce, avocado, and levels, really. So yeah, we'll roll it. Weasel could have been cool. Avocado, and then one more roll for hopefully better food that we didn't find. Let's do it this way. I think this is going to stick around for a while, so if I can get any actual stats on there, then maybe the garlic will be helpful. And you should be able to survive the hedgehog now, so you can go to the back. I don't know, this is getting really large as well, though. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it, though, so yeah. Still think it's better the way I did it. And we are crushing. Four trophies already, still max HP. Not going to bother with Puppy. Is there anything I'm interested in at Tier 4? Lynx could be fun. Lots of XP stuff here. Yeah, I think I'm going for stats and <laughs> Lynx XP. 
Not going to bother with skunk. I know it works well, but you'd have to scale it before snipers go off. Another one of those. Yeah, I guess so. Not going to bother with penguin. Don't care about lettuce too much either. And XP, good. So, I either sell ant or baboon, and I think I do the ant even though it's close to a level up. And... Yeah, pill that onto you, because then I can still buy whatever comes out. Oh no, I can buy sell crow for five, right? Yes, yeah, so then I'd be able to do it anyway, so we'll do it, do it that way and then freeze pill blobfish. What about you? Poodle? Dude, maybe I just go for a scaling team. Stingray is great for stats too, but I don't have the things that I want to put stats on yet. So one thing from each tier, which we have two tier threes, but, you know, it's good. We're definitely keeping the Dragonfly and the Hedgehog, and they're the unique ones, so... Yeah, we can keep it like that for a minute. Maybe put you there. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. The <laughs> I, I need to get rid of either the Hatching Chick or the Baboon. And they're not making it easy, because all the stats are getting spread out between them. The Hedgehog. No, like... It's, it's not that good. Uh, should I get rid of the hatching chick? It's not actually scaling, so I think I can. Maybe I level up the hedgehog. I'll get ready to level it up. Because then I can just... do this. Combine next turn and find an early tier 6. Relatively cheaply. So there's a chance this is going to eat the poodle buff, but it's a 1-1. One, one. It's not too bad. And you still survive. Assuming there's no other random snipes going on. Maybe throw that to the front in case someone has a turtle thing going on. I guess it would make sense to throw that onto the front. But then that dies. I don't know. Send it this way. It doesn't matter. Next turn, we're going to try and find some good stuff, though. Because this team is not going to have, like, any of these things on it in a few turns' time. Hopefully. If we get lucky. Another draw. No complaints. Um, Crow. Oh. So, Leopard is better than Mantis Shrimp if I can get it scaled well. I currently have pretty decent scaling. The Dragonfly is kind of likely to miss, but yeah, I think we go for the Leopard first. We've got a lot of HP, so I can afford to, to wait. So, do that. Keep rolling the rest of these. Poodle again. I don't think Poodle's it, just because I'd have to have things from all different tiers. But if I'm pivoting, I kind of want only tier 6s, because I could have, like, T-Rex scaling, you know, a leopard and a lionfish, or a, a tiger. I don't know, there's loads of good stuff up here. I'll be leaving the links now as well. They already care about blurring Doctopus. Uh, yeah, send again. So now you're going to be buffing the poodle, which doesn't doesn't feel amazing. I should probably get rid of that soon. It's doing okay work, but it's... It's it's not what I want. I just need to find an early T-Rex. Or a Zebra. If I get lucky and the Zebra hits something nice, that could be great. Like, these are both good buy cells. Alright, you can stay on if I don't find anything better. And I did, okay. Not going to be able to buy whatever comes out of this, but leveling this this time could be cool. Even at the cost of you not buffing anything. Ooh, do I go for level 3 or pick up a lionfish? I think I'm going to push for level 3 first. Pill, I could keep it frozen or something, but... Nah, there's, there's good stuff to look for. And you know what? You can go to the front now. Everything else is kind of... doing alright. I don't think the, <laughs> the 6 damage to everything is going to bother me too much. Yeah. Nice, another trophy. We found an early T-Rex, and I am by selling this stoat. And you know what? You can stay! <laughs> We're doing a sniper squad. So you can be my other thing. It'd be nice to find another one, because otherwise I'm going to be wasting some of these for a while. Do I sell the baboon? I need to make room. I think I do. Alright. Okay, I'm going to keep this here. I'm going to roll three times and see if I can find either something else to swap in or some equipment. Instead of just buying, like, leopard pizza. More XP. Yeah, I will definitely pick that up. Tiger. It will be nice, but I don't think it's worth doing yet. Um, lemon could also be okay, but we have so much HP. Let's get greedy. Let's try and find this um, T-Rex upgrade as soon as possible. And what? Leave it as it is. 
Maybe that there, just because it's definitely dead. Although, so are you. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Oh, never mind, you got buffed, right? I don't think that was a guarantee, but... Yeah. Oh. Oh, god. Didn't actually do that much damage, but... Yeah, that was a bit scary. <laughs> Putting my tiny things at the front just in time for them to, to blast me. Um, buying chicken legs for you could be good, but I just... I want this. Keep you frozen. Yes, cool. Mongoose. Octopus is also very good and probably a better scaling target than this. But I don't know. I, I kind of like this. Like even the dragonfly is doing good work now. So I think this this might just be the team. So I can start leveling this and get it to level three right at the end, and then you know we can get the most out of the dragonfly and then <laughs> actually blast things though. Let us only hits two things. We'll just roll. Yeah, I, I'm not subbing anything else on. I think unless it's the lionfish. It is better. Mm, but there's not a lot of time. How fast would that be scaling? Beginning 6-6 six, six a turn. I don't know. I think it's better to try and find the level for you, honestly. We can probably just leave it. Or <laughs> you. In case we somehow start losing, we can maybe go for a level 3 T-Rex. Like, having more stats on there is never going to be bad. I'm gonna move that to the back. Have one tiny thing at the front that's now kind of big. Not that big, though. Okay. Well, we still win. I thought that was a very scary team, but I think I was only looking at the like, frontline 40-40 thing. And yeah, we'll we'll stack that. I'm going to freeze the tiger because I can always get rid of the dragonfly right at the end too. Pizza's fine, lemon's fine, but... Hmm. I don't know. I feel like most people are probably doing lemons. So I think this could block some decent damage. Let me try it. See what that does. Okay, so the way these guys work, they always target the front thing, so maybe I should be putting a loss, an actual loss. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should be putting you at the front. I will get you ready for a level up, but we're not going to do it yet. Pizza's good stats, but I don't know, what else would it be rolling for? I'm looking for melon or lemons. I guess it's fine, though. And good hits. Nice. Oh, okay, we have the leopard ready. So, if I level this up now, my dragonfly is going to... Well, it's going to buff the T-Rex to... I guess it's not guaranteed, so I might as well do this now. Yeah, I hadn't paid attention to that. <laughs> I forgot that I leveled this up, so it wasn't guaranteed to hit the leopard anymore. Okay. I think this is fine. And then next turn, or the one after that, if there is one, we sell the dragonfly, we grab a tiger, throw it behind here. And if I can speed get that to level... Uh, two, then we are just gonna be cruising. <laughs> so close. Leave the pizza. See if we can force this. That's also very nice. Melon is also very good. But uh, do I wait? Like, if I buy both of these and it's not too bad. Yeah, let's just do that. It's fine. We're getting close. Then again, you're almost maxed out. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think we have this. Okay, so nine trophies. That's level U. Didn't find another tiger or T-Rex, sadly. Um, I could buy the mongoose, because then I could use that to get a coconut at the start. Yeah, you're going. I could also buy some stoat to see if it turns into this. Or a tiger. I'll, like, check it. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy the mongoose. By Mongoose, get the coconut perk. I want Tiger behind you, but I'm probably going to throw... I guess I'll have to throw a T-Rex to the front line. Which isn't ideal, but... It's that or I leave it like this, actually, because I can keep you there. Not feel too bad about it. Nah. Uh, prioritize this for random abilities. Throw onto the T-Rex, maybe, so this gets sniped by anything random going on. Is that or I just buy a 1 1 buff at this? Which. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm just doing that. I don't care. So, we're going to override the lemon unless it gets sniped off by mantis shrimps. I'm not sure how the order of operations happens, but. I'm sure we're good. And there we go. We made it to 50 attack right before the end. I mean, 
It worked out well. All right, amazing run. Very clean. Obviously had a couple of losses, but yeah, look at that. Strong stuff. All right, let's go again. Let's see what we can do. All right, pig, possum. I'm gonna leave the mouse this time. And I don't know whether to freeze duck. I'm probably not going to. Let's try and find more of these. BD Fragile Advisors. I kind of want to try and get Frog to work at some point. I know there's some cool stuff you can do with it about like trying to stack tons of stats onto one thing and using frogs to chain it into something else. You know, like having one massive leopard and then a frog and then swap them onto a smaller leopard. But it's it's weird to set up, so I'm not sure if it's actually worth going for. And yeah, we'll just stack that. Send again. We're still at max HP, so doesn't really matter what happens here. Got a trophy, cool. And we got a combo, nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna take Weasel this time. I like getting some some money. And I would sell these, but we're gonna have a token here. So I think combine, buy that as it is. And roll a bit. Penguin, not really bothered. I think I'm gonna keep going. Let's try and find another pig or possum. Pig. Excellent. And possum! <laughs> Great. I'll probably do one of these next turn and then save the other one for tier 3 to look for a tier 4. Or maybe I'll get really greedy and save both of them. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually may save both of them. I think throw down this other pig. Buy the apple for you. Roll once. Oh my god, there's another pig. Buy rice? Then I can like sell the pig next turn or something? Although the pig may be better than Marmoset. So maybe I put that on there and then I roll with Marmoset. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Okay. So a little bit risky. I'm hoping that's not going to cost me any HP here, but I think it's worth it to save the gold. And yeah, that's a loss. All right, no worries though. Okay, what have you got? Another dragonfly. Or friend summoned if outside a battle, give it plus two plus two. So I could grab this and start replacing stuff in my squad. I don't know though. Like I have a lot of sell things, so I could definitely start swapping things in, but. From tier 3, there's nothing I really care about. But I guess you're only going to be leveling these. I don't know. I think I'll go for this again. We'll buy this first just to see. Okay, never mind. I am going to buy double lobster because they are big. Um, sell pig. We're going to roll. I want to replace most of my team this turn because we can make everything like 4-4 four, four larger. I don't know whether it's worth buying a bat. I could buy the spider and sell possum and make that large. But no, let's just roll a bit. Sure, we can find something better. Okay, Hoopo Birds. And you're the only faint pets? Yeah, sell possum, grab this. You are now absolutely massive. <laughs> uh, give you a garlic, and then I feel good. I'm actually going to put that right at the front, because I think there's a very small chance that this could solo a team. And I'm not going to bother with Stoat, I think. Bet fish is pretty good. Hmm. I don't want to combine these yet, but I also want to sell this at like tier 4. So I think I'll leave that. I'm just going to try and find some like, more garlic for something, maybe. Buy an apple or two, just kind of stall. Yeah, see? Like, it, it didn't solo, but it maybe could have. Alright, you're going to be sticking around for a while as well, so I'm going to give that to you. Uh, I see no reason not to look for a level here. And then maybe just roll for the last one of those. I could always rice this or something, but... Oh, avocado, yeah. <laughs> Way better. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sacrificing that frontline guy. <laughs> he's he's not doing anything, but at least I'm getting my gold and still winning. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, sell so Marmoset. Um, buy a third one of these, make it like 7-7, seven, seven, and combine everything together... Let's say sell you and buy a skunk now, which I'm kind of tempted to do. We get more stats that way. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, monkey scaling. Or poodle. No, so now I have two tier fours. Yeah, we'll grab the monkey. Monkey's very nice. Avocado is cool as well. 
But I think we're going to roll. Like, we want to get as many stats and decent things on the team for now. Dude, I'm leveling this monkey. Okay. Oh, no, like, wait, let's do this. Let's find a tier 5, and then we can maybe monkey scale that. <laughs> okay, turkey. We can get ready for another pivot later. Yeah. Oh, God. What's the plan? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably not going to end up using the pill here. Lynx could be good. I could always go for Lynx. But we'll wait. We'll wait until tier 5. So for now, I think monkey buff yourself. Oh no, monkey buff the skunk. Yeah, I think skunk maybe stays for a while. So we'll run it that way. Definitely keeping those frozen. Want to save money for tier 5. And hey, skunk actually managed to get a nice trade. Hmm. Freeze crow. I think I buy saw that next turn. And just buy the avocados for now. Because I don't actually have a good thing to put this on yet. And rice. I think rice is fine. It's not as good as avocado, but what am I going to be selling? Because I like these, because whatever I buy is going to be massive. And I kind of want to keep the skunk if I can buff it up a ton, but I don't know. Maybe monkey goes. No, it'd have to be like you. Hoopa <laughs> I'm losing it. I don't want to keep the Hoopa bird forever. And these two actually help me like swap in big late game stuff, so... Yeah, I feel like it had to be that. And it's still working out, so don't feel bad. Alright, double crow. Not that helpful. I could sell you and double, double monkey here. Which I might do. I get to see it tier 6 at least. Maybe I just scale skunk. Nah, either way, I'm gonna sell you. Both of these are getting bought sold, even though they're somehow massive. Okay, let's scale the monkey. Let's get you big. Octopus? Octopus would work very well in a team full of skunks. Yeah, and it doesn't need... Yeah, yeah, because if I do that, then I don't even need the skunk to be, like, high-statted. So we can monkey scale the octopus, and then try and get levels on both, but... Yeah, we don't need to worry about how large this one is now. I care about canned food, <laughs> so it's more XP. Uh, buy the avocado and do that next turn, I guess. Oh, loads of XP. Alright. It's beautiful. I think we get rid of the turkey next turn. Ow. We get rid of the turkey, we can start by selling crows. Level you, probably, because early that'd be amazing. And I'm not really sure what I'm hoping from, like, tier 6. But, yeah. Oh, T-Rex, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can try and get... Try and get the XP on you now. And we're done with Lobster. We don't need... We don't need the Lobster doing things. Okay, for now, keep monkey buffing this. But I may have to shift it to the Skunk so we don't, um, like, cap out the Octopus. Because of this, it's always going to be targeting those two. But that's assuming we even have to worry about that. Like, we're at seven trophies. I need protective equipment. This guy's doing great work, but he could be doing... He could be doing better. I see cat cow. Might be a good excuse to get rid of lobster here. I'm gonna throw that on there. If I sell that... Um, I'm gonna put it on you. Put those on you. Freeze that once and then roll, because if I do find a melon or something, then that's nicer. Sushi's fine, but cat's already used up, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that down. And yeah, we're at 8. Just keep buffing the octopus. I'm fine with it. Yeah, see, I need to get rid of those. And this might be my first loss. It is. Well, second loss. <laughs> Okay, stoats. So we're looking for the octopus and T-Rex. So that's a 1 in 5. I think that's worth going for. Like, I'm not really planning to use the cats. I'm not going to bother with this either. Sauropods. Nah. Try another one. Cat again. No, this is not it. Um, So I'm going to put lemon on you because people might be running mantis shrimp now. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, do I sell cat just so? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm selling cats. Sell cat, run the full squad. Lionfish. Also pretty nice. Potentially nicer than leopard just because, again, it goes after the skunks already triggers. So yeah, I think I may actually go for you this time. I already had a le uh, leopard game on the last one. I'm not going to bother with mongoose. It is strong, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're good. More XP is lovely. I am going to give that to you this time because now you're already leveled up. It's going to be full 4 or 10. Oh, he lived. <laughs> Just barely, but he lived. Can't say the same for the rest of my dudes. And so much XP. All right. Is this the most important level, or do I just... Well, I can't even afford to get you leveled up this turn. I could do you. Let's do you. That feels right to me. And I think I'm running a four squad again. Am I okay with that? I can't sell anything else. If I want to use these crows, I have to run a four squad, really. And yeah, I think I buy Mongoose next turn. <laughs> There's so many things here. Leave leopard. Chicken leg's fine. Send that. I need a melon. I need melon or another lemon for this guy. Don't think there's any good offensive equipment for my smaller dudes. And oh my god, it was going so well and now everything's kind of collapsing. Um, I will buy sell this because I want to make sure I have the chocolate ready. And then I can buy sell this as well. Yeah, buy sell this. We're going to be leaving. Oh, Yeah, get the palm tree, sell that. Buy you your frozen, ready for next turn. We can level this, probably. And I think this is just the team now, so I'm not going to worry about trying to, you know, buy sell, pill, or anything else. Maybe you do stay at the front. Because, yeah, it still helps if they have um, Mantis Shrimp, and then you can get the protection afterwards. And the more hits you get in, the stronger we're going to be. But it's a waste of the monkey. So, no. We'll do it that way. Feels a bit wrong. But I I feel like I kind of have to. Oh, and it didn't matter because it got sniped off anyway. Alright, one more. One more win, please. We're so close. Just get you leveled up as soon as possible. No use for these guys. I think I just roll. I need I need equipment. Like one more piece of decent equipment. And rice is not it. Okay. Well, I don't see any reason to move anything, so see how that does. Uh that seems okay. Oh, it's very okay. Yay, we did it. Two for two. Another fun team. Level three Octo. Yeah, this is a sniping weekly. Big fan of that. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!